Well, if you like wrestling and you like takedowns, I guess that's the round for you. He really had his way with his opponent there. Yeah, he was able to secure many takedowns, switching up the techniques, constantly changing the angle, never allowing his opponent to get a beat on what type of finish he was trying to go. Oh! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Okay, it goes in and secures the takedown. Well, any time you are in a ground-fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. Well, he continues to stay busy. What do they say, DC? Punches in bunches? Punches in bunches. And he's landing them upside his opponent's head over and over again. All right, watch out for the setup here. DC, I know you don't pay your bets, but I'll bet you 100 bucks he goes for another takedown here. <laughs> If I don't pay, then why are you betting me? I'll yell in the octagon and go, man, don't shoot so that I can get... Now the transition to the judo throw right into side control where he will have no shortage of options. All right, north-south position. Now we'll see who transitions first. Oh, useful strike on the ground, that was. He's putting him in exactly the position he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Man, it's almost like he's got a range finder out there. Just too easy as he connects with another good series of punches. There. If you're boxing this guy and only boxing him, you will be in trouble. Let's go. Keep pushing forward. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting him up now. Oh! Single collar tie here. Ooh, now he's got the tie plum, Daniel. If you're on the other side, what are you trying to do to get out of this potentially? Oh, beautiful job with the ankle pick to get him down. Now we'll see where he chooses to go from here. Got the ankle pick. Let's see how he advances from this position. All right, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you gotta be careful here. Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue for him. He's making every single one of them count. He is not pity pad. He's not touching. Every punch that lands, he wants you to feel it. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. All right, north-south position here. We'll see if the crowd can be mature about this, DC. Man, the body work really starting to take its toll here. Obvious redness on that right side. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. He did a great job securing that ankle pick, but he did not react fast enough to secure the top position. And just like that, back to a standing position. We'll see who has the advantage. That's three rounds. We're now headed to the championship round. All right, let us now look back at some of the highlights from that round. And there just aren't that many guys on this roster that can keep up this offensive wrestling pace over 15 or 25 minutes. But he's one of those guys. He is one of those guys that's able to continuously take you down even if you get up over and over. He has this ability to maintain that pace and pressure that he can wear his opponents down. That's why you see him get so many finishes as the fights progress. Nice. That's what I'm talking about right there. Got that round, all right? All right, so here we go with our fourth round of a possible five, and a lot of right. fighters change up their training right. camp when they're fighting five rounds versus three. Yeah, you gotta change it up. You have to mix things up, because fighting for an extra... Right up the gut, DC. He's in a world of trouble now. They say the straight moves are the ones that get there first, and it got right to the target. Oh, knee strike right to the bottom. He had it hurt. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Oh, he is up, but man, is he hurt. Oh, he's nicely done with the trip there. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. All right, north-south position now. We'll see how he chooses to proceed. Oh, and he's able to land a strike there from the bottom. Nicely done by Gamebrick. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. All right, so he's got him in the north-south position now, DC. If you're the top fighter in this situation, what are you trying to do offensively? I'm trying to force some sort of action from my opponent. You want him to turn to his knees to 
either give you the guillotine choke or allow you to try to chase the back. It's a tough position to control in, but there are options for finishes and are options for positional advancements if you're patient. Man, isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? He's unbelievable how fluid he is in his motions on the mat. Right hand punches the clinch. That knee might have landed there. And they separate. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting the combination. I mean, hey. if you're gonna sit there... Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Now the guy's got on bar. He's attacking it on him. Now he's okay. Now he can escape. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Side control now. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Masvidal's all sorts of bruised up on his body. That is gonna hurt something fierce tomorrow. Oh, really nice work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here for Bob. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. All right, north-south position now, DC. We'll see how he chooses to advance from here. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Ten seconds to go. Horn sounds for the end of round four. So the takedown's the big storyline in that previous round. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC, and got to be pretty discouraging to get grounded that many times in one round. Oh, it's so discouraging because all you want to do is let your offense go, but every time you're getting dragged to the floor constantly, you're starting to get fatigued. He's starting to wear on you. Let's see what type of effect it takes on his offensive approach as the next round starts. All right, well, we'll see if his opponent can make the requisite adjustments. He got taken down left. Shot there, DC, and one more of those, he might be out. I mean, the fight is gonna be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot landed perfect. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to pile up these body shots here in the latter stages of this fight. You didn't see a lot of that in the earlier rounds, making up for lost time here. Sound defensively blocks the shot. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. What a punch. And they separate. He's got a serious right punch, and he went to it effectively. All right, the fighters are fighting out of the clinch here, and now we go to the ground. Beautiful trip there to get the takedown. Sweep the leg, Johnny! Oh, John, one guy's always paying attention. The other guy's going to take a point. Take a point like they did to your boy, Johnny, and you lose the All-Valley Championship for disrespecting a guy like that with that sweep. Under three minutes now to go in the fight. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. All right, side control now. Lands a strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by Gamebred. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. Well, not ideal to spend this much time on the bottom, but you can't fault him for his activity. Landing strikes here from the bottom. Nice work by Jorge Gamebred Masvidal. Gamebred gets up. He is back Great on the feet here. All right, 